Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name's Amanda, welcome. If you've been here for a while, then welcome back. So today is Monday, which means I have my reset. Um, and I got quite a few things done. I, the kitchen, of course, needed it. The table, which is one of my hot spots, y'all know that. And then I got under the couch and the love seat. They, they were pretty bad too. So they needed a good cleaning out from under. Trying to get things just set and in order for Thanksgiving and um, because I know the, the day or two before I'll be busy in the kitchen so I was trying to get everything else good and ready and I did and it felt good to have it done I'm so appreciative of each and every one of y'all thank y'all so much for being here I love you guys and I'm just so thankful and grateful for each and every one of you I hope that you get some encouragement out of this video most off I hope that you get some motivation um, I hope that y'all are having a fantastic and blessed Monday and I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of the week I will quit rambling I will put some music on and be back on shortly to share the devotional with y'all y'all I wanted to apologize I did get all these dishes clean I did have to let both of those pots and pans soak for a while and I just forgot to film it um, but the kitchen was everything was clean organized and ready to go by the time I went to bed that night so I do apologize it just um, I had to get some SOS pads to scrub that it was um, some baked on stuff so it was there but it did get done I promise you that
So y'all, we've come to the part of the video where I want to share the devotional from a Little God Time devotional journal that's linked in the description. And the title of today's uh, devotion that I wanted to share, and I feel it's appropriate, is A Thankful Heart. And it reads, Have you ever noticed on vacation that your heart feels lighter, that you worry less and are more thankful? Cultivating a heart of thankfulness can shift our entire perspective on life. When we are grateful, we start to see the light of God so much more. We start to see Him everywhere. A thankful heart is a heart that refuses to let the enemy in and deceive us. Suddenly our circumstances seem not so terrible, our problems not so huge. A heart of gratitude glorifies God and keeps us centered on Him. Just like on vacation, you can have that same perspective every day, even in the most mundane circumstances. And whatsoever ye do, in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. Colossians 3.17 what can you do to start cultivating a heart of gratitude? A heart of thankfulness keeps you grounded in Christ, in communion with Him, and allows you to live the fullest life He's designed for you. And I was so blessed by that devotion, you know, and Thanksgiving coming up. And it just got me thinking. And as it says, when we are grateful, we start to see the light of God so much more. We start to see Him everywhere. And I loved when it said it keeps us centered on him. And I feel like a thankful heart makes it hard to give way to discontentment. If and it's I thought to myself after reading this, I made a note and I said, Start thinking. List what I'm thankful for every morning after I pray. Just Write them down. Like that there's a song that talks about counting your blessings. You name them one by one. And it would be hard to name everything. But I feel like if we shift our focus instead of what we lack or the circumstances around us and just keep focused on God and the thankfulness, the, the blessings that He gives us day by day, we all have so much to be thankful for. And that is a blessing. And I was truly... Um, truly blessed by this devotional and really grateful for it it was perfect timing and i hope that y'all enjoyed it as well So I was so glad to get under the couches clean. And I know like nobody's going to see that that comes for Thanksgiving. But I'm always surprised anytime I pull them out at the amount of stuff that is underneath them. It just, it blows my mind. And baby, hold me tight and send me off with the words of a lullaby.
folks, y'all, in this part of the video, I'm talking to Jamie, my husband. I thought I had forgotten to get macaroni noodles, but you'll see I found them. And then I was telling him to remind me to get cornmeal. I had some in the refrigerator, but it was um, no good. So I was telling him to remind me so that way I would have it for my dressing. But that's what we're doing, talking back and forth. Send me off with the words of a lullaby. So y'all, we're coming to the end of today's video. Again, thank y'all so, so much for being here. I appreciate it. It means so much that y'all would take the time out of your day to watch my videos. It's a blessing. Um, I may, I may, I'm leaning toward probably have a um, bonus video for y'all sometime this week. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Um, so I, I'm hoping that it will be either Tuesday or Wednesday before Thanksgiving. So, but if not, and you're in the U.S. celebrating Happy Thanksgiving. I hope that it is a blessed and wonderful time with family and friends. And I hope that y'all have a blessed rest of the week. And Lord willing, we will see y'all on the next one. Be blessed.